All right, so what are we doing today? Honking our horn, doing a little shop cleaning up. Let's start this thing up. Okay, we need to move that out a little bit. Let's shut her down. We're doing a big wheel switch up today. It's a Sunday, came into work work on a few of my toys. I certainly like playing with my cars. This is my 1972 Honda Z600 Coupe A. Coupe? Yeah, maybe a Coupe. It has side pipes. It has a hood scoop. It has a bull bar. And now it's got new centerline 13 inch tires off of a Toyota Starlet. I did have these 10 inch factory sized sedan wheels and tires on it. I think I like these better. They were a Facebook market book Facebook marketplace find and they seem to fit okay. I polished this one up a little bit. It's pretty much anti-rust free or rust free because it's alloy. I gotta find some center caps and some new lugs that are better looking and probably a little smaller tires because it's pretty tight right there. So I'll find some 13 inch tires that are a little smaller than that and new rubber put those on and let's move on to the next car shall we all right our next car we're talking about doing a little wheel upgrade whoops is this what is it suzuki super carry left hand drive with the 1100 cc dongen engine made for the u.s market has 12 inch tires and i was able to order the center caps from South Korea, I think, but the tires are hard and they're old and they just look kind of dumb. So let's go to the other side of the van and show you what I did. See if you like them. Waha! Look at that. I put donks on my van. These are uh, 15 inch Lloyd rims with 114.3 to 100 spacers and they're uh, really narrow. Kind of like wagon wheels but it drives really good with those so that's kind of an upgrade let me get my shadow out of the way you can really check it out pretty cool let's move on to the next car shall we or maybe the next dog, a dog over here. hello stella hello what are you doing you want to say hi to all the people yeah come here show me your toy show me your toy Okay, so the next car is right here. It's the Nash. It's called the No Frills Nash. I got this thing pulled out in the sun. I want to start sanding on it. I want to get some paint on it. It's been bothering me. I did a little work on the rear window seal. I'm not sure I'm happy with that. These window seals for the rear of this 54 Nash are unobtainium. This was really cracked. So I took a uh, tube of 3M window weld and I made a special formed uh what do you call that little thing it's not a spatula but the spreader like her bondo spreader and i formed it to the seal and i spread an even coat of window weld all around it i don't know if i like it it looks like i patched it there was a section missing here which i filled and it's kind of rough yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet so i need to get sanding on the car find more high low spots get a coat of sealer on it and uh, see if i can make this thing look really good so that's car number three that we're dealing with today and there's more let's take a look inside the shop shall we you'll recognize those two bright green neon green wheels those belong on my van they were on the front of my dkw in the corner there and i have the matching set for that car which are these red wheels that will match those red wheels so i got it jacked up so we're swapping a bunch of wheels around and uh what do we know i tried to push the subaru out of the corner of the shop and even though it has all new brakes that wheel is completely locked up i gotta figure out what's going on there so lots of things keeping me busy today so we got cars all over the place i don't know how i'm gonna keep track of all this stuff getting older i need to sell something so i don't know I'm pondering. Something's got to go. Let's get the Nash painted. 
We'll do some more videos on working on that. The Berkeley there, uh, in between the Nash and the the um, uh, DKW, the yellow one, that needs some work. That's this little car right here. So we're gonna sand and paint. We got some good weather for the next couple days. Good weather as in no rain, but it's gonna be clear and cold, and that actually works out okay for sanding and bodywork. So stay tuned. We'll have some more videos coming this way soon. Let's see if I can get some of these clunkers running.